want to build up to get to the point that we can make an actual large transplantable heart at one point. This uh, promise and the dream of creating uh, organs in the lab is something that I've been mesmerized ever since undergrad. Heart disease is the number two cause of death in the country, according to Statistics Canada, killing over 52,000 Canadians in 2019. But now researchers at the University of Toronto have grown a left heart ventricle in a laboratory, promising to change the game for the future of cardiac care. The left ventricle is the part of your heart responsible for pumping oxygen-rich blood out to the rest of your body. This lab-grown ventricle is even made with living human heart cells and beats on its own. So we use uh, techniques from electronics industry to create structures that human heart cells can grow on and assemble into functional beating heart ventricle. Uh, is there a potential to keep building the next piece of the heart, yes, the next piece, yes, and then eventually yes. have a... Yeah. Yes, yes. So for sure, and I always say, let's try to make pieces first, and then before we make a whole heart in the box. Yeah, so this here, we have a 3D printer. Uh, we have sonicators. This is a vacuum chamber. What, what happens in there? Uh, so we could show you in there. Sargol Okovatian is a PhD student with the university. She's one of a team of roughly half a dozen that's been working on the project for over five years. So this is the size of a 19-week post-gestation fetus. So it's a tiniest heart that has the structure uh, and only the ventricle. So it's like the first step that, to be taken. The process to build the highly sophisticated molds happens right here in the lab. The team using cutting edge materials and techniques to create the microstructures you can barely see here needed to build the living ventricle. Yeah. I can though. see it from this angle. Meanwhile, the living tissue is created from blood cells donated by the same person receiving the treatment and then essentially reprogrammed into stem cells. At first we were just making strings and then we were making patches. And now we've graduated to making small ventricles. Eventually we'll be able to get to that big step of having a replacement heart. This is actually what keeps me waking up in the morning and even coming every day on weekends because I want to see, okay, what happens next? Like, does it start beating? And like, it's very exciting. At the University of Toronto, David Zura, City News.